next building. We have tried to replicate some of the different shops that had been found in the towns in Putnam County, and a very important one was the cobbler shop, because everybody needed shoes. You couldn't order anything online, you couldn't go and purchase them too often. Uh, you might find some in a catalog, but you would find that most towns had some kind of cobbler shop to make shoes. Some of the things that they needed to use for making shoes included these forms, which are wooden, and there were metal ones, that were called last. They were used to stretch the leather over the size foot that you would have. So there's children's sizes, there's some adult sizes, there's boot sizes that are here. And the leather they would obtain from a tannery somewhere nearby, and it was cured and treated, and then that could be stretched over some of these lasts and glued into place to form the shape of the upper part of the shoe. The thicker leather for the heel was mounted onto the bottom and either sewn or nailed into the leather that formed the upper part of the shoe. On a couple of these shoes, you can maybe see the nails that are attaching the sole to the upper part of the shoe. Looks like a very tedious job to do that. That's how they were made. Some of them were also probably sewn onto here. And this device shows a little bit of the sewing machine, which was pedal operated, and it would sew the leather onto the heel. It had to be a very strong needle to do that. They also had heels that would be attached to there, and if you needed to make a hole to drive a nail in, you would use a device called an awl, and then use little small nails that you could put into this position and pound them with a hammer into the sole so you had a little bit of a raised heel with that. The other things that a cobbler might do is to work on leather harnesses. And in the corner here we have a harness maker's bench. It's kind of fragile, so I'm not going to try to sit on it, but the upper part is where the harness could be held in place, and he would sit in the back and then work and sew that together. And above me, you can see that he also worked on saddles, because everybody had horses. He might also repair lines or reins for horses that pulled wagons. The cobbler shop was often a very small building, and we do have some pictures here on the wall that display a real small building in Continental of one of the early cobblers. It was probably about an 8 by 10 building that he worked in. So it wasn't much bigger than this particular display. It was easy to heat it with a wood. such primitive tool, or simple tools as an awl and a hammer and tiny nails, you can make shoes for the population that lived in that time in Putnam County. I don't know if there are any more cobblers living in Putnam County. There were one in Fort Jennings, Ralph Minky, who passed away about eight or ten years ago. But it was a very important profession at the time.